What is going on everybody? Yvonne here and today we're going to cover two of the most popular solutions when it comes to creating and selling digital products, WAP and Gumroad. Both the platforms have their own unique features and they differ in so many different ways. So today we're going to be covering the platforms side by side and we're going to be going into their features and pricing and figure out which one is going to be the right fit for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now if you guys want to follow along with everything that I'm doing, all the links for the platforms are going to be linked down below in the description. Now let's go ahead and start with Gumroad and see exactly Exactly what it's all about. Once we click on the link, we just got to press the start selling button right over here. Once we start selling, it's going to lead us to actually make our own account. Let's go ahead and sign up with our email as well as set our password. Alrighty, now as you guys saw, signing up is pretty straightforward, right? The whole process is very easy and free. Those include your guys' profile, products, emails, workflows, and there's so many different other things that we got to cover. If I was just starting on the platform, I would go to your guys' profile here and make sure that it looks legit and professional. The reason why for that is because if you guys are selling anything online it's all about trust and credibility and if your guys' initial landing page doesn't look good how can people trust you that's why setting up your guys' name bio logo or even connecting your guys' social media links is going to be crucial because it's going to give you guys' customers a lot of trust in the platform once you guys do get that set up i'll personally go to the product section right over here and let's go ahead and set up our first product press new product and there's going to be so many different things that we can add ranging from just a generic digital product to a course a tutorial ebook memberships physical goods or even bundles to compare apples to apples, let's see exactly what happens if we try to add a course. So let's go ahead and select that and our price is going to be $10, right? And the name of it is going to be testing. Let's go ahead and customize it. And from here, you guys will be able to modify you guys' name, description, the URL of it, any kind of domains, covers, thumbnails, really giving you guys this course a customized feel. The other cool part about this platform in particular is because it has a ton of integrations and automations built into it as well. That way, as you guys scale, get more people through the door, you can automate a lot of things taking them off your guys's play and if you guys want to go ahead and modify you guys scores and kind of what it talks about all we got to do is just go to content right over here as we're making our course there's going to be a lot of options available for us ranging from adding a page to inserting a button divider inputs or a list of different posts and once we're able to type up a lot of information and kind of customize the way we like it i'll go ahead and publish and continue and we're going to be ready to rock now to get this thing out there and get people talking about it we got to market it now the easiest way to do it within gumroad's platform is going to be through email marketing and to access that all we got to do is just go to emails right over here and from here we're able to tap on your email and the cool thing about this is that we can nurture you guys's audience that way they feel more connected towards you guys's brand and check it out if we go to the workflows right over here we can actually set up multiple automations that occur whenever something happens internally within your guys's platform those triggers can include a purchase a new subscriber if a member cancels or if there's going to be a new affiliate added the reason why this is cool is because you can't be everywhere at once that so this is going to save you guys a ton of time, especially as you guys scale. And as you guys see, based on these triggers, right, the workflows can go ahead and send scheduled emails based on what happens with that trigger. And these are some of the rules that we can go ahead and set up for ourselves, which make it much easier for us to put people in their respective buckets. And the other things that we got to look out for when it comes to Gumroad's platform is going to be anything on the operational side when it comes to analytics and sales. So with sales, we can actually manage everything in one place. And that way we can actually know exactly what is working versus what it's not but because we don't have sales there's limited amount of data that we actually have and on top of that if we go to the analytics tab we can actually see all of our sales use totals we can actually compare them side by side or even cross match it to our refer and see exactly what is bringing us dollars and what is not and honestly the platform has one of the simplest fee structure out there charging only 10 percent flat and that way whenever you guys are just starting out you don't have to worry about paying that minimum upfront payment because you can actually only pay on you guys's purchases that actually come in and the cool part about gumroad's platform is the fact that all the major like reports that you actually need to see are all kind of there within the home page already ranging from all of you guys the sales that you're getting to even your best selling product which tells you guys know what to double down on and what to cut short but let's go ahead and see how it compares against swap and how they're different so right off the bat the fees that you guys are paying for using their service is going to be much lower coming in at only three percent the only other thing you got to look out for are going to be payment processing fees but those shouldn't be too much that makes swap a lot cheaper to use in the long term because the platform is also free so it doesn't charge you those upfront payments but let's go ahead and see under the hood of how it looks like so this is the page that comes up whenever we actually press on the link in the description and we want to start selling here we'd like to sell services and the name of the WAP is going to be fitness course all right let's go ahead and press continue here now there's going to be a lot of different templates that are going to be available for you guys but just for example purposes i'm going to create one from scratch so let's create one here now this platform works a little differently when compared to gumroad it's going to be 
be centered around the internal apps that are going to be present in the platform. So if I was just getting started, what I'd personally do is just go to add apps right over here and add a chat to make sure that you guys community can actually talk with one another. So press add app. And from here, you guys can actually select who can actually interact there, who can post or even block certain URLs. This is all going to be present within the setup category right over here, but you can also preview as user or even figure out who has access and who doesn't. Now with this chatting group, we have two different options. We can either leave it as free or we can set it to where you need to be a paid member to actually be part of the community. And look, I like money. Let's get paid. But in order for us to get paid, we should probably add a product to it as well. So let's go ahead and do that right over here. So press create add product. We want it to be paid. We want it to be a subscription because that's where the big dollars are. Subscription price is going to be 10 bucks, but we can also offer free trials, initial fees, different stuff like that. So let's go ahead and press continue. And depending on your guys' price tag, right? Like I know some people that if they have a selling something that's really high ticket, like 10 grand or so, you probably don't want the price to be seen right away because that can scare people off. So in those case scenarios, you can hide it. But if it's 10 bucks, that's not going to be too scary. We can go ahead and have it visible to the public. So let's press continue and boom, our product is created. But look, right now our product is only associated with our chat. So if we go to our product right over here, we can actually see that the chat button is going to be the only one associated with it. And if we want to tie it together, we just press add and boom, chat is associated with it. But I don't think a lot of people are going to want to pay for a chat $10 a month every single month. So we probably want to attach a course or something to it to actually spice up some value gain. And to do that, we just throw a course at it. So just press add apps, go to courses, press add app and boom, let's go ahead and create our course. This is going to be fitness fit. The tagline is going to be get jacked. The description is going to be super fit. Press continue. Now, as you guys see, WAPS platform is going to be a little bit more organized with different lessons and chapters being right over here. And if we want to create one, all we got to do is just press the plus button here. And I personally like the multimedia the most because we can have different types of media like video, PDFs, images, different stuff like that, all within one lesson. And if you guys want to go ahead and modify the lesson, just press on it. And as you guys see, you can modify the name, upload a video, different attachments, different stuff like that, depending on what you guys are looking for. And again, we can go to access and write and kind of modify to see who actually has access to it. So with the fitness course, we probably want it to be part of the products. So let's go ahead and activate it. Now only paid members actually have access to this paid course. And if I want to see how everything is doing, all we got to do is go to analytics. And from here, I can keep tabs on all of our students here and see exactly how they're progressing. But at the same time, figure out which lessons are going to be popular and which ones are not. And if we want to go to our like main store landing page, all we got to do is just go to edit store. And if somebody wants to buy from us, they can go ahead and modify their store here by uploading their store name, tagline, description, features, different stuff like that on the left hand side here. Again, this is going to be really important because this is going to be the very first impression that people are going to have of you. And remember, first impressions are going to be everything, especially if it's going to be digital. And look, there's so much more you can do within the platform. Just go to the add apps here and there's going to be a lot of different apps you can actually add to your guys' platform here that can customize your guys' experience. But whenever you guys want to have a full view of what's going on, just go to dashboard here. And from here, there's going to be a lot of different options here for you guys. My personal favorites are going to be the ones within operations that include reviews, questions, cancellation reasons, and the resolution center. The reason why that's my favorite is because I like to know what is going on. Are people liking my stuff? And that way they stay for a very long period of time. And in addition to that, we can have full visibility of our marketing efforts through tracking our affiliates or tracking links. And that way we know exactly where people are coming from and what they're interested in. And similar to Gumroad, all the information about you guys' users can be kept in this one centralized place. And that way you can know exactly how much folks are spending, what they're joining, what their status is, how to contact them, stuff like that. The coolest part about the platform, in my opinion, is if we go to milestones, there's going to be different rewards associated with different milestones here. So for example, if you got $10,000 in 30 days, we can see the reward here and it's going to be a trip to New York City. You can actually visit the HQ and this is really kick ass. And if we scroll down here, there's going to be a lot of different options here as well, like winning a private jet, a Lambo, a Rolex. And I think this is overall a really cool feature that they have inside of their platform. And there you guys have it. That was a side by side comparison over WAPS and Gumroad's platforms. As you guys saw, the platforms have so many different features available to them. So it kind of depends on what you guys are looking for. WAP is going to be fantastic for building a community and managing you guys' subscriptions, while Gumroad is going to be a little bit more straightforward digital product sales. So it kind of depends on what you guys are looking for and you guys' strategy with your guys' business. So if you guys do want to try out the platforms, the links for them are going to be attached in the description. Remember that on this channel, we make videos about different tools and platforms that can help you guys start and grow your guys' business. So if you guys got some value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, peace.